Hey guys, welcome back to Gone Home. My name is Brian and PS4 Trophy showing you the Speed Reader Trophy. This is going to be earned by completing the game having found all 24 journal entries using no modifiers in less than 10 minutes. So this is a complete walkthrough of the entire game showing you all of the collectibles required for this trophy. Now there are 24 journals, 23 of them are Sam's journals, and then there is one Mitten Secret Diary journal we need to find. So we're gonna go through this relatively quickly because we have to do it in 10 minutes. So we're gonna grab the key and enter the front door, and just to the left is our first journal. Go ahead and pick that up, and then we're gonna to go to the hallway just beyond this door. Now I'm gonna take a moment and hit the, all the light switches to make it a little easier for you guys to see where I'm going. Normally I wouldn't do this, but we're gonna go to the first door on the left once you go enter that hallway in the backpack, find the journal, and then the next one is gonna be in the very next room on the left side, and it's gonna to be to the left of the TV. Now, the numbering you see in the top of the screen is the number in which they appear if you go to your journal menu. Uh, That's not the order in which I'm actually gonna collect them. So journal number four, we're gonna go again, continue down the hall, again, the next door on the left. So the first three doors on the left, you'll find uh, some journal entries. This is gonna be in the closet. It's gonna be in the pocket of this uh, apparel here. Now we're gonna leave. And if we continue down the hall, you'll eventually get to a locked basement door. Now we're going to go in the bottom of this drawer here, open it up, read that note, and we can't go into the basement just yet. So there is a spoiler. I'm going to show you the, the key uh, combination to get the key for the basement. Uh, it'll save a, a couple minutes. Uh, so there is a small story, a story spoiler here. But we're going to actually go after journal number 22. This is one you'd normally get towards the end of the game. We're going to get it here now, and it's just to the right of the stairs going up. There's a secret uh, passage here. And we're going to grab this. This is going to just save us a little time a little bit later. So we're going to take the attic key and then we're going to go upstairs to journal number six. Again, the journals are ordered in the in which they appear if you go to your journal screen. So the sixth one is going to be just inside of this hallway. Let's go ahead and hit the switch. Look down here. You got these cabinets. This is in, uh, in the right one. So grab that tape. And now we're gonna go into Sam's room. We're actually gonna come back here a little bit later, but there's a, a, a kind of a puzzle showing you uh, where you can get the combination. Uh, and inside of here is going to be the basement key as well as a journal entry. So the combination 0501, go ahead and examine that photo. There's Lonnie and make sure you take the key. Now we're gonna exit through the uh, other door out of the bedroom and then we're gonna go into the bathroom here. And just next to the bathtub, go ahead and pick up the uh, the hair dye. And now we're going to kind of continue. Uh, actually, right in front of us, this is uh, mom and dad's room. We're going to go down there next. But first, we're going to head towards the attic in the final door here to the right side. Inside of this room, we just have to open up the top drawer over here. Go ahead and examine that for that journal. Now we're going to go into uh, mom and dad's room, which I just showed you uh, momentarily, uh, a moment ago rather. And we're going to go into the closet in the back left. Let's go ahead and hit the switch. Again, I'm just hitting the switches just so you can have a, an idea visually so you can see a little bit easier. Now there's another secret passage here. Now we're going to continue down, and this is going to take us back down to the uh, a room we hadn't entered yet near the, in the during the first hallway. So we're going to go ahead and open up the next one here. And this is the library. Again, we're on the same hall we went down the original. We just never entered this room yet. And in the back corner is going to be another secret panel here that we can remove. Remove that, and that's going to reveal the location of the journal entry. So that was number nine. We're actually going to number 11 now. Again, the, the ordering is a little different. So this is going to require us to go down into the basement and we're going to pass journal entry number five. Uh, the location was in the, the drawer just ahead of us. And now that we got the key from Sam's bedroom, we're going to go down into the basement. And as soon as we enter the basement, it'll be right in front of us behind the box. Go ahead at the switch. Again, you do have to get all of these in 10 minutes in order to get the speedrunner trophy. So make sure you get that little uh, that note there. And then you're going to enter the furnace room with the water heater next to it. 
And on this box is another journal. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. Now we're going to go into, instead of going straight ahead, we're going to turn right. And there's going to be the staff quarters here. And on the wall is a set list. So go ahead and pick up that. Now we're going to head back out and continue. And this is going to be on the desk right in front of you. Grab that postcard. Turn on the light for you. Now behind uh, this corner here, passageway up. Now there's going to be a path to the left. Don't go to the left. That'll actually take you to a secret uh, on the second floor. You actually don't ever have to go through this passage here to the left. So we're just going to stay to the right here. And right on this table underneath the light is going to be the next journal. Now head out of here and on the desk just to the left of this couch, what you need to do is you need to actually close this folder in order to reveal the scrap that you need to examine. Now there's this door over here. Let me hit the switch. There's this door. This door actually is going to lead us right back to the very beginning of the game. I'm opening that for us to use later. And just ahead of us is going to be the dining room. So we're going to enter the dining room. And just on the corner of this table here is another folder. We need to open this folder and examine these two sheets of paper. There's a slip there. There's a note there. So examine those. And now we're going to leave the dining room. And if I open this door, the kitchen is right in front of us. So we're not actually going to go into the kitchen just yet. We will momentarily turn on the light. And at the very end of this hall here, there's another false panel that's actually already been removed. So uh, read that crumpled note and then head through the laundry room. And then behind this door at the very end is going to be a map. And this is going to be journal number 21. Again, 21 on your list, not the 21st one I picked up. So journal number 19 is in the kitchen. It's right on the kitchen table. Again, just across from the dining room. So the second to last journal, number 18, is going to be inside the garage. What you need to do is interact with a hat hanging off the bicycle handle. There's only going to be one more, but before we get that final one, we need to do Mitten's Secret Diary. Now this is a 24th uh, uh, journal. There's 23 Sam ones plus this one Mitten journal. So I'll go ahead, pick up a can out of the recycling bin, knock down that blue basketball, or purple basketball, I guess I'm a little colorblind. Now what we need to do is we need to take this and go back up to Sam's bedroom. So we got a little kind of a uh, jaunt ahead of us. Again, it's just one more after this and uh, we will find uh, 24 total journals. Again, 23 Sam journals plus the one Mitten Secret Diary. And as long as you complete the game within 10 minutes and find all of these collectibles, you will earn the Speed, Run uh, speed Reader Trophy. Now we're going to go into Sam's room here. Now if you clo uh, you have to drop the ball. If you close the door, you will see a basketball hoop. If you just pick up the ball and interact with that hoop, you will get that journal as well as the meow 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 trophy. We got some friendly cats there on the screen as well. Now the final uh, journal, Sam's journal number 23 uh, called I said yes is going to be in the attic just a spit in distance from the very end of this game. Now again, you have to do this within 10 minutes, so you're not going to have time to just sit there and, and listen to the journals or read them. So we're going to go ahead and pick this up. That is the final one. Now if we complete the game within 10 minutes, we'll get the Speed Reader Trophy. As well as a couple other trophies. Uh, but go ahead and that will end the time. As soon as you interact with that, it ends the timer. And then as soon as you get back to the main menu, you're going to get uh, trophies. I got the Gone Home trophy because that's for completing the game the first time. Uh, letters to Kate for uh, finding all 23 of Sam's journal entries. And then Speed Reader for finding all 24, using no modifiers, and doing it in less than 10 minutes. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you very soon.